Question seven. Here are some patterns made from sticks. Draw pattern number for, uh, four. So each time you add a, a house on the side, okay, so you're just adding another house each time. So we better draw this out. This, it's got, it's got that. Okay, and I'm gonna be dead lazy. You're gonna to have to draw these out, I'm afraid, and yours. Um, I'm gonna group these together. No, I'm just going to copy them. So uh, one more time, two more times, three more times. So it would be one more time like that, two more times like that. And three more times like that. That would be the fourth pattern. I've been a bit cheeky there, but yeah, I'm sure you can forgive me. Okay. So the next part, how many sticks are used for pattern number 10? Okay, well, let's just think about this. Um, in the first one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. In the next one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, 11, 12, there's 12. So each time you're adding a new house, you're adding six. So it's the six times table. So the first one is six, the second one is 12, the next one's clearly gonna be 18, the fourth one's gonna be 24. So it's just the six times tables. So clearly the tenth one is going to be 60. So simple as that. Jim says there is a pattern with 123 sticks in it. Is Jim correct? Well, you've got to think to yourself, um, is 123 in the six times tables? Well, the uh, well, in order to justify it, whether it is or isn't for you, you know 12 is in the six times tables because it's six times two. So you know 120 is in the six times tables, it must be six times 20. Therefore 123 can't be because the next one along would be 126. So 123, 123 is not in six times tables, or you could say 123 divided by six is not a whole number. Therefore, Jim is incorrect. So just, you must state that he's incorrect and we're done.